Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study about transition metal carbon sigma bonded compounds. Okay, that means we are studying about usually the transition metal alkyls. Okay, so we know that this uh, transition metal alkyls are less stable or it is unstable I could say. Okay, these are unstable. Okay, the transition metal alkyls are usually unstable. Why? Because there is a availability of low energy kinetic pathway. That is availability of availability of low energy kinetic pathway. Okay. So, because of this reason, usually the transition metals are unstable. Okay. What do you mean by this low energy kinetic pathway? That is, in this case, in which case transition metal alkyls, there is a possibility of beta hydrogen transfer mechanism. Okay. Beta hydrogen transfer mechanism. Okay, because of this reason, the transition metal alkyls are usually unstable. Now, we will see what is beta hydrogen transfer mechanism. Now, for example, if you have the transition metal alkyl, okay, M is a transition metal. Say you have this CH2 and you have say CH2 and I write H here. Okay, this is a transition metal alkyl, right? This is CH2, CH3. I return CH3 like CH2 and H here. Now, here what happens is that um, this hydrogen is called as beta hydrogen. Why? Because this carbon that is attached to the metal is a alpha while this is beta carbon. So, whatever the hydrogens that is attached to this carbon is called as beta hydrogen. Even this is also a beta hydrogen. But I am considering this for the explanation purpose. Okay. This is what is my beta hydrogen is. Now, when there is a presence of beta hydrogen, what happens is that there will be an interaction between the metal and this beta hydrogen. Okay. Like this. M. I write dotted line. CH2. this H, okay, the interaction will occur between this metal and this hydrogen, beta hydrogen, not with the alpha hydrogen, okay. Now, because of this reason, what happens is that the bond between this, that is M and CH2, there was a bond, correct. So, that will break and there will be a formation of the double bond here. Okay, and this bond will cleave and this bond is formed. Okay, this is nothing but my transition state. Okay, so in transition state what happened? The bond between M and CH2 breaks. That is why I represented it by dotted line. And this bond is shifted here so that double bond is formed. Okay, this bond is uh, breaking. This bond is forming. Okay, this is represented in a dotted line in the transition state. Okay, now I will write. There is a formation of MH bond, okay, MH bond is formed along with the formation of CH2 double bond CH2. That is alkene get eliminated and MH bond is formed, okay, metal hydride, okay, My metal hydride is formed, okay. Why this is happening, why this reaction occurs, that is mainly because the MH bond, okay, here. So, MH bond is much more stronger, much more stable than the MC bond. Okay. In this case, you have MC bond. In this case, you have MH bond. Okay. Since MH bond is much stronger. Okay. Our formation of MH bond is um, um, energetically, uh, you know, favorable than the MC bond. That is the main reason why the beta hydrogen transfer mechanism is happening. Okay, in order to form the metal hydride, which is more stable than metal alkynes. Okay, now we will see the mechanism operates. Okay, this beta hydride mechanism uh, transfer mechanism will operate when okay, this 
mechanism operates when okay in what cases this mechanism will operate which mechanism beta hydride transfer mechanism okay so this mechanism will occur only if there is a presence of beta hydrogen okay if there is a presence of beta hydrogen then only the mechanism will occur okay and the next point in the transition state you see this bond correct or a unit this unit uh, can be seen that is m c uh, sorry m c c h okay this unit is there no that must be roughly coplanar okay it must be must be roughly coplanar okay that must have roughly coplanar conformation so that uh, this h is there no that is brought closer to the metal okay that is uh, why mcch unit must have roughly coplanar okay the next point the intermediate requires two coordination site intermediate intermediate requires two coordinate or coordination site on metal while the while the alkyl group occupies only one coordination one coordination site so for the formation of intermediate so the formation of intermediate in the mechanism in the mechanism there must be there must be one vacant one vacant coordination site available coordination site available on transition metal okay this is the third uh, point so intermediate whatever we considered now that must have the two coordination site okay which which one this is the intermediate or transition state that must in that metal must have two coordinate site okay one coordinate site is occupied by what alkyl part and another is occupied by what hydrogen correct so the intermediate requires two coordination site on the metal okay that's the point so the, uh, uh, so beta hydrogen mechanism transfer mechanism will occur when there is a presence of beta hydrogen and when this unit mcch unit is roughly coplanar so that h of the or beta hydrogen is brought closer to the metal and mh elimination or mh formation become easier okay and intermediate requires two coordination site one is uh, occupied by the alkyl group another will be occupied by what hydrogen okay okay now we will see how can we you know um, get the stable alkyls okay how to get stable alkyls so whenever the transition metal alkyls is not having beta hydrogen okay so whenever the transition metal so if uh, transition metal alkyl is not having no beta hydrogen okay i'll write like this okay if there is a presence of no beta hydrogen on the transition metal alkyl then that transition metal alkyl will be stable okay so if there is a presence of beta hydrogen unstable if there is no presence of beta hydro hydrogen it is stable okay so what are the example we will see m ch2 like this if you have this okay here this is alpha carbon this is beta carbon right so in this carbon there is no hydrogen so it is stable compounds similarly if you consider this one ch2 c ch3 ch3 okay here you have metal 
here you have CH3 okay once again this is alpha and this is beta the beta carbon is not having any hydrogen correct all are CH3s so this is also a stable okay if there is no presence of beta hydrogen then that uh, transition metal alkyls are usually stable now we will see some of the examples and we will uh, say how it is stable Now if you have this Mn Et2, okay, whether this is stable, unstable. Why? Because here you can see Et means what? Ethyl, correct? CH2, CH3. There are two ethyl group, CH2, CH3, like this. Now here this is alpha, this is beta. Beta hydrogen is present even this is also a beta beta hydrogen is present that means this particular compound is unstable because of presence of beta hydrogen now how can you convert this unstable metal alkyl to a stable one how can you do is that is by addition of another ethyl or alkyl group okay if you are treating it with the another alkyl anion okay say this one et ET means what? Ethyl. You will get like this. Mn ET3. Okay. This is ET2. ET become ET3. And complex or uh, compound will get the negative sign. Okay. Here uh, this is called as uh, alkylase. Okay. It is called as metal, metal alkylate. Okay. So the metal alkylate is most stable. Okay. It is stable. Okay, metal alkylate can also be called as per alkylate, per alkylate, okay, it is more stable, okay, because the vacant site or, or vacant coordination site on the metal will be occupied by this ligand, ET negative ligand, so the compound formed is called as metal alkylate and that would be more stable when you compare to MnET2, okay. So, we will see the another example. If you have this compound, RH, NH3, 5 times ET, 2 plus. Now, whether it, this is stable? It is stable, even though there is a presence of beta hydrogen. Okay, let us write the structure first. Okay, here you have NH3, 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 NH3. NH3. This is ET, right? that means CH2, CH3. Okay, and this carbon is alpha carbon that is attached directly to the metal. This is beta carbon, means these are the beta hydrogen. Okay, even though there is a presence of the beta hydrogen, this compound or this uh, complex is uh, more stable. Why? Because here the ligands are what? Ammonia. We know the ammonia is a strong ligand, correct? The ammonia is a strong ligand. So, they do not vacate the position to create the vacant coordination site. Okay. So, since it is being in a strong ligand, they do not vacate their position. Okay. So, that no vacant coordination site will be developed or created on the metal. Okay. That is the reason why this compound is more stable even though there is a presence of beta hydrogen in it. Okay, next we will talk about the transition metal arrives. Okay, the transition metal arrives. The transition metal arrives is most stable. Okay, it is most stable when you compare to the transition metal alkyls. Okay, why? Because we, uh, we will see how it is. Now imagine I have compound like this. Okay, now this is what alpha carbon and these are beta carbons here you have one one hydrogen correct here also one hydrogen here hydrogen here also one hydrogen no hydrogen here okay so if you write the bond you will get to know okay so these are the beta hydrogen here beta hydrogen transfer mechanism doesn't occur okay in transition metal or else the beta hydrogen transfer mechanism doesn't occur why why because if the if there is a beta hydrogen transfer mechanism, that means uh, you, there is a formation of MH bond plus 
this bond is there no that is this here it is a carbon hydrogen right so this bond will shift here so that you will get like this you get compound like this okay this is your benzene correct so if there is a formation of nh bond or beta hydrogen transfer mechanism is occurring then the benzene formation will occur we know the benzene is a thermodynamically not a favorable product or it is very unstable product correct that is a reason why the beta hydrogen beta hydrogen transfer mechanism doesn't occur okay mechanism doesn't occur in where transition metal arrives why because that will lead to the formation of benzene which is not at all stable product correct yes instead what can happen is if you have compound like this okay i am written, uh, writing the same compound so what happen is that there will be a homolytic cleavage like this leading to the formation of radical like this okay this bond cleave homolytically this metal will get one electron this carbon get one electron now this uh, uh, radical is there no that will dimerize that means if you have another same compound okay same uh, free radical that will combine okay dimerize to give the compound called benzene uh, sorry uh, biphenyl okay to uh, the dimerize to give the biphenyl by uh, phenyl phenyl which is most stable product okay most stable product okay instead this can happen okay there is a homolytic cleavage between m and c bond and uh, that will lead to the formation of biphenyl but never benzene formation will occur okay now suppose if you have this means if uh, this is a uh, um, occupied by some bulky group okay say if you have like this okay if the alpha site sorry ortho site this is alpha this is beta correct this beta carbon is not having hydrogen now instead bulky group is present when the bulky group is present on ortho on the beta carbon sorry on the beta carbon if you have the um, bulky groups then that is most stable when you compare to this compound as well as the transition metal alkyl okay even the biphenyl formation doesn't occur here because there will be a steric hindrance okay that is the reason why this compound if you have the bulky group on the ortho positions then that compound is most stable okay it do not undergo beta uh, the uh, biphenyl formation because of steric hindrance okay so ortho substituted the transition metal aryls are most stable than the transition metal aryls okay so these are all about the transition metal alkyl aryl sigma bonded compounds okay if you have any doubt in this video please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching